Today we're talking about conjunctivitis and pink eye, including what causes it, what the symptoms are, and some of the best ways to treat it, coming up. Imagine your eyeballs throwing a party and then suddenly all these unwanted guests called bacteria and viruses start showing up without invitation. They start causing all sorts of mischief and chaos in your eye, like dancing on your cornea and playing hide and seek in your tear ducts. Your eye's like, hey guys, this isn't the kind of party I had in mind. So it starts producing tears to kick them out, but those pesky little troublemakers just won't leave. Eventually your eye has to call in professional reinforcements like eye drops and antibiotics to help evict the party crashers. It's like a never ending battle between your eye and these microscopic troublemakers. But hey, your eye's determined to protect itself and it gets back to enjoying its own party with some help. Your optometrist can help you find the right bouncers to kick out those unwanted party crashers. You might be able to get rid of them yourself, but it might mean a few awkward dance moves along the way. Conjunctivitis, also known as a form of pink eye, is an inflammation of the conjunctiva, which is the clear tissue that covers the white part of the eye and lines the inner surface under the eyelids. It can be caused by a variety of different things, including bacterial or viral infections, allergies, irritants, or foreign objects that make it in and around the eye and under the eyelids. Let me know in the comment section if you get eye infections and how your eyes react to them. But some common symptoms of conjunctivitis include redness in the white part of the eye or redness under the eyelids, increased tear production, itching, or a gritty feeling in the eye, Sometimes a feeling that something's in the eye, but you can never find it. Mucus discharge from the eye, and that could mean a watery discharge, or mucus that's thick and yellow, and crusting of the eyelids and eyelashes, especially when you just wake up. Those are some of the most common symptoms. Let's get into some common treatments for conjunctivitis. Now, the disclaimer here is that watching this video doesn't create a doctor-patient relationship and the treatments discussed, if applied, are done at your own risk. That being said, when it comes to treatment options, there are several over-the-counter eye drops for relieving symptoms of conjunctivitis, but it's important to consult with an optometrist for proper diagnosis and to determine the best course of treatment. They might recommend certain eye drops based on the underlying cause of the conjunctivitis and individual circumstances. Antibiotic eye drops are a common type of eye drop that your optometrist can provide in the case of a bacterial infection in the eye, also known as bacterial conjunctivitis. The inflammation and redness usually can resolve in just a few days with this type of eye drop if all the directions your eye doctor gives you are followed. One pro tip would be that if your optometrist tells you to use the eye drop for seven days total, but your eye feels a lot better in like two days, be sure to continue to use the drop for the full seven days regardless of how your eyes feel in order to reduce resistance to the type of bacteria causing the eye infection. Combination antibiotic steroid drops can also be used to treat bacterial infection in your eyes, especially if the optometrist wants to get rid of not only the bacteria, but also inflammation in the tissue around the eyes that could be contributing to like a scratchy sensation that can accompany bacterial conjunctivitis. Keep in mind that something external is probably causing the inflammation to take place in the first place. So if you do your best to wash your eyelashes, which are really just filters, you're then reducing the cause of the initial inflammation. So daily lid scrubs are another great way to reduce the irritation that causes the inflammation. Check out the link in the show notes below for some common products that I use every day to reduce the amount of irritants on my eyelashes that could potentially cause inflammation under my own lids and even lead to contact lens discomfort. There are many different types of viruses that can cause conjunctivitis and depending on the type of viral infection someone may have, the optometrist might prescribe something different. The treatment could be something as basic as an over-the-counter eye drop like an artificial tear or a prescription antiviral eye drop or an oral antiviral medication if the viral infection has a greater chance of causing permanent scar tissue, or if there's a higher likelihood of blindness if left untreated. Your optometrist will use a special type of dye called sodium fluorescein, a special blue light, and something called a ratin filter to find out what type of viral infection is affecting the eyes before determining what the treatment plan is and what medication to prescribe. This might be the most important part in correctly diagnosing which type of eye infection is taking place. Antihistamine eye drops are commonly prescribed if the optometrist determines that the conjunctivitis is caused by allergy. One common eye drop prescribed is called Patidae. I'll have a link in the show notes below where you can find Patidae if you feel like you suffer from eye allergy. Allergic conjunctivitis can cause its own symptoms of red, itchy eyes. Remember, your optometrist is your best source for differentiating between a bacterial, viral, or allergy-related eye infection. Before we move on, be sure to smash the like button if you're getting any value out of the content. Be sure to watch the next video about how to tell the difference between the different types of eye infections.
Sometimes when one eye is irritated and the tissue around the eye is inflamed, it's because a small foreign body has somehow made it into the eye. I don't even know how many times over the past 10 years I've seen someone complaining of red irritated eye. And when I look with my microscope, I see a small piece of metal stuck to the surface of the eye or embedded into that cornea. This can happen when someone's out in a strong wind, has been cutting or grinding metal or even pounding on metal, working under a car. Other types of foreign bodies that I've found a lot are wood, glass, pet hair. Your optometrist is your best source for finding that small foreign body with their microscope and special tools and techniques that they have in office. If you suspect that you have a foreign body, never wait too long to set up an eye appointment with your optometrist. Remember, it's essential to seek professional advice for any specific eye health concerns. Your optometrist can better treat your eye condition after doing specific tests in the clinic that help differentiate between eye conditions so the right type of treatment or eye medication can be prescribed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more helpful content.